Diapers, wipes, formula, baby lotion are just a few of the basic items that we may take for granted, but it makes a huge difference in someone else's life. Yes, and that's why Rochelle is at the diaper bank right now, showing you the role that you can play in getting these items in the hands of those families who need it the most. Rochelle, how's it going over there? Things are going great over here and at WILX, I know we've been collecting donations outside the door, but I want to show you guys here that we have just the same amount. We have so much more and the mead is still here right in the store. So I'm standing here with Mike Carl who's going to tell me a little bit about the diapers that you guys have. And I see that you guys have organized them all by size, by age. Can you tell me a little bit about that? And also, why did you package them in this way? Yep. So we keep them by size because it's easier for us to give out, but mm -hmm. it's also easier for us to make the orders for our agency, our partner agencies in four different counties. But we started out, what started off with 12 diapers in a pack, we negotiated to 50 diapers a month. So wow. we, we break them up into packs of 25 so that we can give more to the families that are in need that mm -hmm. may come to us that will let us give them 50 uh, in a month, each child. That's so that's great. a huge blessing. That is. It's amazing. And, you know, there are certain families that come and there's twins, there's triplets. They have more than one or they have more infants than the other. And you guys are still able to, you know, give out that need. Right. Right. That's amazing. And then another thing you told me is that, you know, as much as the need is here in, you know, Lansing and as well in the mid-Michigan community, you guys still serve people outside of that. You never turn people away. No. The one thing that we try to do is we try to be the gap fill, even when mm -hmm. uh, counties away from, even if they come from Muskegon or they come from Detroit and there's an emergency need, we'll always have at least 25 diapers that we can try to get to someone to get them over to the next, you know, to the mm -hmm. next stop, giving hope. That's One 25, 25 diapers at a time. That's literally. wonderful. Yeah. And then diapers are just only some of the things it is that you guys collect. I want to talk a little bit about the formula. And the reason I say that is because, you know, I'm not a mother. I'm not with a child all day long. But people don't realize that some babies have allergies. Some babies right. have different dietary needs. They can't all just take the same formula. So right. can you explain the difference between all of these? Yeah, some, we, got, we got, like, hyperallergenic. We got the yellow can is what we call it. Mm -hmm. And then we got something like AR that helps with the digestive system. Mm -hmm. Each baby has a different need, and we want to try to keep as many available as we can. During mm -hmm. the, the pandemic, when there was a, a formula shortage, we gave out over $200,000 worth of uh, formula, thanks to our amazing community, to be able to give it out. So we, we want to be able to keep a variety on hand for people that came in, not just for diapers, but may have something needs like this. And these cans are hard to get. Sometimes yeah. uh, WIC doesn't provide the, the type that the baby needs, and we may have it and an agency may send them here to, to fill that need. That's awesome. And you know, something you mentioned earlier was about those emergency kits. Now, you told me there are sometimes there are babies that come here and they're not even wearing diapers. But yeah, you guys have those kits to prepare them. Tell us we about do. that. We do. Have, we have extra diapers that we set in the back that maybe they discreetly with dignity mm -hmm. go change a diaper so that they don't have to live like that. We have people that come in here from shelters or living outside um, that may be in saran wrap and, and uh, paper towels. And we, we've seen the extreme. So we always keep extra just in case something's going on. We can give that dignity, that kindness to the, to the family that may be coming in off the street and may just need extra little help. That's and then awesome. they can come back and get their 25. That's mm -hmm. amazing. And that's wonderful. Yep. You know, and guys, uh, Linda and Michael are only just a couple of the hands that have uh, that play a role here at the Capital Area Diaper Bank. After uh, the break, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually donate and actually volunteer here. Uh, but until then, Nicole and Claudia, I'll pass it back to you.